Thanks for joining us. Meteorologists are saying it could be the strongest typhoon ever to make landfall. Super Typhoon Haiyan has begun battering the Philippines. Maximum sustained winds of 314 kilometers an hour have already been recorded. And forecasters warned that coastal areas that storm surges could reach up to seven meters. Well, the country's president... One of the strongest storms ever to form on this planet is making landfall tonight with nearly 10 million people in the bullseye. It's called Super Typhoon Haiyan. It's 300 miles wide. As we speak, thousands of people are being evacuated from the coast before Super Typhoon Haiyan makes landfall early Friday. And this isn't just any typical typhoon. Haiyan is the most powerful storm on the planet. I was born uh, one year after the war. The war ended in, uh, World War II ended in 1945. When the Americans landed in Leyte, this is the place. I studied here when I was in high school, third year and fourth year. This place is uh, I'm very, I'm, I'm very attached to this place. Because I, this is where I, this, this, I made a playground out of this place. My, my school building was right over there. This used to be the gym, a gym uh, built by the Americans, uh, used as a hangar. This, this was an airport right over here. I'm Stephanie Mayas. I'm here at our restaurant at Stephanie's Mocas here in Tacloban. Um, during the typhoon Yolanda, um, yung water is like um, in our leg or in our neck already. We were like swimming through, going through the dirty water, and then we walk going to the tall building so we can save our lives and. And unfortunately, um, one of our guards are, is not yet here, it's missing, and we almost drowned because of the water, and the current is very strong, and then the, 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 we almost, we were almost trapped here because of the door, we cannot push the door because the water is very strong, and Good thing my dad was here and someone's here with us so we tried ourselves to get out of this place so we can be safer and we almost go some went somewhere because of the current.
when I learned that uh, Tacloban was uh, going to be hit by uh, by Super Typhoon Yolanda, I organized a team of doctors from St. Luke's so that uh, three days after Yolanda, we were here, the first non-government medical group to set foot in Tacloban City. And we had many patients. We ran out of medicines because uh, there were too many patients. And I promised to come back with more doctors. I had uh, 11 doctors then. Now I, I have 35 doctors and more medicines than uh, we had uh, the first time I we came here. Uh, we have penilog propanolamine for the uh, allergies and uh, asthmatic cough. Then we have the doxycycline for leptospirosis, which is very prevalent here. And mm -hmm. for loose bowel movements, uh, diarrhea, and pteromite because of the contaminated water here. And then for the pain, any pain, uh, muscle pains, wound pains, ibuprofen. And then we have antibiotics in the form of cotrimoxazole, amoxicillin, and cephalexin. And then we're giving them uh, anti-tetanus shots. Whenever I conduct a medical mission, I, uh, I feed the, the patients, I feed the people. That's why you can see, as you can see, I, there's a, I set up a makeshift uh, kitchen, uh, a soup kitchen. And I expect uh, people to come over for soup and for food, for, for rice and uh, Bayan is spelled uh, B -A, uh, B -I -A -N -D. Bayan is uh, is what uh, is the protein that comes with the with the food with the, with rice. This is soup number one special food for the medical mission. Eating in an, uh, in an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Thank you.
we were uh, ready and prepared two days before the typhoon so uh, I believe even the uh, local government and the national government prepared all the uh, evacuation centers but what had happened at about 5 5 30 in the morning waves of water suddenly came in and in about 20 to 30 minutes there were uh, 12 feet of water luckily you know my uh, people were uh, went up to the second floor of uh, the building while on the second floor water is still up to uh, neck deep you know so they have to go up to the roof my family are all in the uh, third floor you know but uh, the, the wind started at about three four o'clock you know and everybody was surprised because there was there was no much rain but the water that came from the uh, uh, sea you know is too much uh, so uh, I thought you know uh, people didn't understand you know what what they uh, meant when they say uh, there's going to be a typhoon surge you know and uh, I thought maybe if they have just shown what had happened in uh, in Manila uh, two years ago September 27 2011 uh, the uh, typhoon Pablo wherein I was also there and the water went up as high as uh, over the coconut tree also in 20 30 minutes Manila Bay and uh, Rojas Boulevard are uh, of the same uh, water level and the whole of our basement were uh, were underwater in 30 minutes so uh, and after that you know the worst thing that happened to us is not really uh, only the uh, typhoon you know the looters you know it's okay if they were just stealing uh, uh, food or drinks you know but no they didn't they started uh, uh, breaking uh, stores that were not destroyed by the uh, typhoon. It started uh, stealing everything that's inside, you know. And I don't understand what kind of... Uh, uh, they're, not, they're not humans, I believe, you know. I, I suggested, I called all the business people here in Tacloban to arm ourselves, you know. But the problem, we still have the, our election ban here, you know. Uh, I, I am requesting our good president, he mentioned in many many occasions that we the people are his boss you know we are his boss now i would like to ask our good president maybe he can uh, ask the uh, philippine national police to give us a special permit you know that we can really uh, protect ourselves because we lack uh, we lack people here two weeks ago they did it two days ago they did it again there's no, it's no longer a typhoon, you know, it's lawless, you know, they are criminals, they are really hardcore criminals, you know, what do you do when they have knives, you know, and crowbars, uh, we have to protect ourselves, not only our property, but our life, do we have to wait for them to stab us with their, uh, with their uh, knife before we start shooting, you know, I mean, I can I can shoot I uh, 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 I can kill people you know and I can do it again and again and again I have already uh, asked forgiveness from uh, the Lord up there you know to forgive me what I've done two three days ago uh, two three days during the uh, during the uh, typhoon and I'm asking uh, ahead and advance forgiveness if ever they do it again and I am threatened I will be shooting you know thank you thank you thank you There's an outpouring of uh, support from uh, all over the world, but we need more help. Uh, oh, medicines, uh, food, uh, because there, there's the help that we're receiving is not enough. Um, the Yolanda cut the 
wide swath of destruction in uh, Eastern Visayas, not only in a specific area, but uh, all over Eastern Visayas. And uh, many people are still going hungry and need medicines. There are many medical missions now in Tacloban City, but uh, we need more. We need more because there are still other places which are inaccessible. And they, they need uh, doctors and nurses and food. I'm appealing to the United Nations and uh, uh, rich countries to uh, not to rely on our government to point out uh, the way to them. They should uh, ask people on the ground in Tacloban um, what places to, uh, to go to because our government is unreliable, it's inefficient. As, as you can see, uh, it took them uh, many days to respond to uh, the call for help from uh, the typhoon victims.